so we're looking at, uh, we, we did understand the basic structure of financial statements and so on. We want to now go in depth because we say that they are treasures. Uh, using financial statements is like, it's like a treasure hunt. You know, you, you go in there and there's, there's a wealth of information inside there. And we say that numbers tell a story. There are hidden truths in there. And it's very important because I know I'm speaking to business people that you know how to dig out those treasures. And that's exactly what this uh, session today uh, is all about. I know that some of you perhaps may have tried to apply for loans and perhaps you are not successful and you've never understood why. Nobody has come around to tell you why you didn't succeed. So that's one of the things I want to equip you with skills to be able to see or to hear the story that the numbers are telling you and to be able to prepare a strong case when you're going to speak to a financier so that you can have a meaningful a conversation and so that your your applications you know are able to to sail through today in our session we want to focus more on uh, on, on 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 analyzing them on on, on using them uh, that's what we hope to do. So how, what are you going to get out of this uh, course? This course is all about helping you. We are now in course number four. And uh, this course, just like the others that we have done, is all about helping you. And this is how we want to help you so that you can be able to monitor your business performance regularly. So I hear you, may ask, uh, actually many of you, most of you are saying, I don't know how to use them. I can't make sense out of them. So I'm, ho I'm hoping that in the next uh, few minutes, we'll be able to you know, maximize our engagement. We want to help you so that you use them, so that you understand what it is that your financial statements are saying to you. We want to help you so that you can identify specific areas not guess what people say i i think something is not going right but i can't tell what no we want to help you so that you can identify what are those non-performing areas in my business so that you can address them those you, we need you to to put a finger or a thumb to it and then we want to help you so that you can be able to assess your business profitability am i just being busy Shugulimingi, B-U-S-Y, business, or am I in real uh, business? That's what we want to, to, to do. Then we want to arm you with information so that you're able to have a quality uh, engagement and conversation. If you're speaking to a financier, you're confident. You're, you're, there are no surprises that are going to be sprung up on the table because the financial statements are yours and you have analyzed them. You know what they're saying. You know, I know my banker is going to ask me this and I'm going to answer them that, you know, and that that, that kind of confidence is what, what we want to bolster uh, in you. We want to help you so that you can assess the strength of your business in terms of being able to pay your debts on time. And your financial statements will tell you that. Did you know that your creditors, for example, and people who give you money, those numbers uh, are actually telling them something about your ability to be able to pay them on time? So that's what we want to look at. And of course, this is all about enhancing the quality of the decisions that you make as the owner and the driver of your business. What kind of decisions are you making? If you're not looking at what your financial statements are telling you, that's a very big uh, you know, question mark, but that's what we want to address. So in terms of learning objectives, uh, just three things that we want to focus on. We want to understand why are we even having a whole session such as this one to understand the importance of financial analysis. Why is it important for you as a business person? That's what we want to focus on. And then I'm going to be giving you some techniques, some, 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 some uh, tips that are going to help you to pick up your financial statements, to be able to ask questions, to be able to get answers and to be able to, you know, make uh, strides and, and, and progress going, going forward. So I'm going to uh, be teaching you two techniques 
comparative analysis, how to actually perform it, and also ratio uh, analysis. So that's what we want to do. So let's look at the importance. Why is it important for us to be analyzing this? Just in case you're joining us today uh, for the first time, we likened um, the process of analyzing financial statements or, or, the, or, the, or, or the financial statements to a weight loss journey. You're trying to lose some, some, some weight and it's important for you to track that process from the very beginning when you started and beginning to notice the trends. Uh, am I doing well? Am I not doing well? So if you want to look out for progress reports, then the financial statement to use would be the profit and loss statement. If you jump on that scale and you want to see what's a reading on the, on the scale uh, today and how different is it from last week or last month, the equivalent of that is the balance sheet. The balance sheet gives you a snapshot of your business in terms of your the strength of your business, in terms of assets, liabilities, uh, you know, and, and also the, the, the owner's uh, equity, which you, you've, you've told me about. And then the cash flow statement, you want to track those calories, uh, you know, you're watching out, I'm being careful, I don't want to eat this. So, um, you know, calories in, calories out and so on. That's what we would call, you know, uh, we would equate to the cash flow uh, statement. Now, as we talk about uh, analysis, it's important for you as a business owner to understand or to be able to explain to yourself and to your team and now to somebody else, what is the reason behind the changes in the numbers? And that's what this course uh, is all about. And so in this uh, session here, uh, we want, I want to, to, to give you the, the skills to be able to do that. And have you ever had a situation where somebody has come and maybe asked you for some money? For example, if I, come, if I came to you and I asked you, please, um, can you kindly lend me some money? And you ask me, Sarah, why? And I tell you, because I'm in business. And uh, you would most likely ask me, what kind of business are you doing and so on. All I would do is to give you my financials and my financials are right there in front of you. So if you were to look at those, uh, you know, uh, uh, financials, you can see the profit and loss statement, you can see the balance sheet. Based on what those numbers uh, could be saying to you, uh, my question to you is, would you actually go ahead and lend me money based on these financial statements? There are three answers. The answer, one answer is yes, another one is no, another one is I don't know. Let's go to the chat box. I'm coming to you. I need to borrow some money from you. And I've tabled my financial statements before you. Would you give me an, uh, the money? Is, what would your answer be? Yes, no, or I don't know. And so we can define financial statements, uh, uh, financial statement analysis as a process, a process of examining past and current financial data for the purpose of evaluating they want to evaluate uh, performance and estimate future future risks and future potential. So there are a few words that jump out of that statement. One word is that it's a process. Financial statement analysis is not something you're going to do one off. And you tell me, Sarah, I, I analyzed my statements in January. It's something that you need to do on a continuous basis. And the whole idea here is for you to spot out certain trends. And remember yesterday we said that this financial data is coming from your records. And that's why it's important for you to keep good records, because when you keep those good records, they are going to feed into the financial statements. And that's why we were saying the day before yesterday, it is a good practice for you to separate your personal expenses and transactions from the business's transactions. Why? So that when we are assessing the strength of your business, we are able to accurately see what the numbers are telling us because there's no mchanganyiko maalumu there. So it's about evaluating your performance and relying on that information to make decisions about the risks that we, you know, we, 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 we are likely to take. So before you even go to the bank to say, I want to borrow, have you evaluated your risks? And that's what we want to focus on uh, this morning. Now, did you know that your financial statements are 
like a dashboard. You know the way you have a dashboard there in, in, in your vehicle? And this is how it works. This is your business's, uh, you know, a dashboard. And you can see there, very familiar with what we see when we are driving uh, a car there. That's your business dashboard. And what does that business dashboard have? As you can see there, there, there are some gauges. There are some gauges there. For example, there's a speedometer. Mm -hmm. And that speedometer will tell you how fast are you going. And that's exactly what the profit and loss statement does. It helps you to, to track the progress. How fast are we going? And then this dashboard also has another statement. And these are the two statements that I would like us to focus on. And that's what is the, we, you know, we, 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 we refer to as the balance sheet. Now, what is this balance sheet? It is the equivalent of the odometer. If you look at your dashboard, Pale Kwagari, you'll see an odometer, and that one will tell you how many kilometers this car has been doing on the road from the day it was bought. So from the day your business began to trade, there are certain transactions that have been taking place. And so if we want to look at the cumulative effect of the kind of business, I told you I've been in business now for 21 years. So that's, that, that should be reflected in that financial statement called the balance sheet. So just the same way that driving a vehicle, those it's very important for the driver of that vehicle to track, you know, what's going on? What speed am I doing? Uh, how many KMs have we reached? Does the car need service? That's the value of information that your financial statements will give you. Now, I want to take you, I want you to take a moment and just imagine. Can you imagine I mean, this is the unthinkable, but some people do this. You imagine yourself driving a car without monitoring the dashboard. You are not, your eye is not on the dashboard at all. And you're in the car and you're driving from here to Nyeri. What are the risks that can, you know, that, uh, that, that you would face as a result of doing that? Or would you agree for me to take you for a drive in my car and I'm not looking at the dashboard? I, 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 I... Now, what could go wrong? My question I'm asking you is what would go wrong? So if you don't track, you don't keep your eye on the, on, on the speedometer, for example, uh, this would amount to, you know, fines and penalties, maybe for non-compliance. And, uh, you know, you, 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 you pay your, your, your um, loans late. There are implications, you know, there are fines and penalties. You don't pay your statutory uh, deductions and so on. Running out of fuel. What is the equivalent of running out of fuel? Running out of Mbesha. I had Makatiani talking about Mbesha yesterday. You know, uh, your, 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 your car may overheat, you know. You may reach a situation where you're unable to finance, for example, the running costs of your business. I had somebody saying uh, that the, the car may conk out, the engine may, may conk out, you know, and you reach a place where you may be declared, you know, bankrupt and, and things like that. You know, you're driving the car, you're flashing signals, you're, you're flashing, you know, both indicators. So we get confused. So what are you all about? Are you going right? Are you going left? And so on. And those are the kind of mixed signals we send. And that's why it's so easy for you to come and tell me, Sarah, this is my business. This is what I'm thinking of. This is what I want to do. Wow, wow, wow. That sounds great. Okay, now let's uh, take a look at your finances. And then when we look at the finances, they're not saying the same story that you're trying to convince me. And so I hope that you are convinced that it is very important for you to monitor the dashboard of your business. And how do you do that? By monitoring your financial statements. You must keep your eye on the dashboard. You cannot afford to drive that vehicle. You are the driver, you are the owner and manager, and you're not looking at the... No, that's a, that's a, that's a no-no. I know you didn't know from today, but now going forward, I hope that you're seeing the importance of uh, you know, financial statements. That's your dashboard. You have to keep your eye there all the time.